Thank you, Rabbi. Um, now I would like to welcome our neighbor from Kirk in the Hills Presbyterian Church, uh, Dr. Nathaniel Phillips. Imam Muhammad asked me to, to share a prayer. And so I have a brief prayer that I'll share with you. But before I do, I want to, um, want to note how important confession is in my tradition and how important and central it is to our prayers. And I want to echo my colleague, Pastor Hines, in his confession as it relates to the name of the city, as it relates to Christ Church and our complicity as Christians in times like these. But I also want to make a, 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 another confession, and for me, a, a really, really important one, because I think that it is such a gracious act to have me here. Think about it. This space being opened up to someone like me tonight? What a gracious act. And so I confess because I, I call this man right here my friend. And he's come to my church before and I told my congregation how much these relationships mean to me. But here's my confession. I've never been here before. I've never been here before. Maybe that's the way it is for you, too. Because we're going to have to get real. Right? Because we've been here before. But have we been here before? We've been here before and we've lamented shootings in Charleston and in in Oak Creek, the Tree of Life Synagogue. But I've never been here before, and so I want to confess that I'm sorry. We mustn't get tired of being here together. Because bigotry will not sleep, it's not going to stop and take a rest. It won't discuss its options or wait to be reasonable. It will not give up if we get violent back. It will press on. But we will too. And so, in light of that sentiment, the prayer that I offer, I didn't write, but it was written by Dr. King. Someone who embody all of that. Pressing on. And so let us pray. Oh God, we thank you for the fact that you have inspired men and women in all nations and in all cultures. We call you different names. Some call you Allah, some call you Elohim, some call you Jehovah, some call you Brahma, some call you the unmoved mover, but we hope that somehow these names all sound like your name to you. Grant that we will follow you and become so committed to your way and your kingdom that we will be able to establish in our lives and in this world a brother and sisterhood. That we will be able to establish here a kingdom of understanding where men and women will live together as brothers and sisters and respect the dignity and worth of every human being. Amen.